from Acapulco. I just arrived yesterday for the Anarchapulco event. Probably, well, without a doubt, the largest Freedom Fest in the entire world where people come to congregate and learn how to live free in so many different ways. I'm not here today to talk to you about an Arcapoco, but I have a special message I'd like to give to all of my friends, friends-to-be and fellow entrepreneurs in the Strategy 2020 program. All right, this is a, a very important program. Perhaps, perhaps you don't realize it, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. I'm out here taking a walk on the beach, gonna get a little morning exercise, go back, take a swim, and this is similar to some excursions I've taken here just this last year. Let me just give you a quick recap if you're not aware. You know, in the last year, I've been to Costa Rica, spent a week there on vacation in the most gorgeous place you could imagine. A uh, month later, I went here to Anarcapoco for the first time. This is my second visit in doing that. Um, a couple months later, I went to Kiev. Some people call it Kiev in Ukraine for a financial conference. And of course, that was a cultural experience, a lot of fun. And a part of that trip took me to the Republic of Georgia. No, not the state of Georgia, the Republic of Georgia, north of Turkey. And uh, that was a real eye-opening experience. Wonderful culture best wine in the world. You never hear about it, but it's the absolute best wine in the world. So I made some important banking contacts, business contacts while I was there. Came back through Amsterdam on my way back to Panama. And then here just recently, November of last year, made a big trip to uh, sponsor and speak at a conference, financial conference, in Dubai and Moscow. I'd never been to Moscow before and that was quite uh, an enlightening experience. As cold as it was in November. <laughs> so uh, in between those two conferences I spent a week in Amsterdam. Now why do I why do I mention that? I mention that because I'm able to do that not because I'm some rich guy sitting on a pile of money because I'm not absolutely if you only knew I'm able to do that because I've been able to develop the kind of cash flow that we talk about in Strategy 2020. And I've done it the exact same way that I'm trying to teach you and everybody else in the training lessons. All right, Strategy 2020 came about as a result of a lifetime of experience, which very few people have, if any, the way that, that I've gone through it. So I put Strategy 2020 together in a way that allows anybody to reap the benefits of my lifetime of experience without having to go through the trials and errors and take the time that it's taken me. I've learned these things over my lifetime. Currently, I'm 62 years old. 
I'm on the back side of my lifespan. And it's my mission to help as many people get out of the bondage, the yoke of slavery that we're all in. By design, as a matter of fact. All right, now, you may say, well, Mark, I don't really have a desire to travel and do the things that you've done. That's fine, you don't need to. Well, let me plant this seed with you. You may not want to travel, if that's the case, but you may very well need to be able to travel. Let me remind you, look around the world. What's happening? Take a look at Venezuela. I've done videos on Venezuela and it's worse than I've even portrayed. You can see that on the YouTube channel. Look at Syria. What's going on in Syria? Take a look right now at what's going on in China. People are being welded into their homes so they simply cannot even leave. They're being chased home by drones if they're out in the street. Drones with cameras and speakers. People talking to them, get back home, get back home, you're not supposed to be on the street. Now, you think, oh, that's far away. That doesn't affect me. Well, let's, let's talk about a little bit closer to home. Take a look at what's happening in California. The cities are being downgraded into third world filth pits. Those that embrace this sanctuary city concept. Look at the designed and implemented fires that are going on. These fires are no accident. These fires are an integral plan, an agenda, what is now 2030. The globalist plan to evacuate people from wide areas, wide swaths of land. They're getting people off the land. Take a look at what's happening in Australia. Australia's on fire. They've already taken away the guns. They're making cash transactions illegal. And, you know, we could just go on. The world is a mess. And no matter where you live, you might very well need to be able to bug out, have some kind of a safe haven, or at least just the ability to leave and go somewhere else. Now ask yourself this question, do you have that ability? Well, sure, maybe you can buy an airline ticket, but then what? How will you live? How will you support yourself? All right. So these are life and death questions. These are life and death situations. And so this is really a very, very serious matter. And yet we have so many people that simply want to discount the Strategy 2020 program because they have some preconceived notions in their mind. And honestly, I feel really sorry for those people because they're gonna be caught by surprise. The global economy not only is on the verge of collapse, it's in the process of collapsing. This whole thing in China is going to slow this coronavirus, China's being locked down. And China is the manufacturing heart of the global economy. Think about the ramifications of that. 
I've talked previously in other presentations about the debt virus contagion that's in the banking system. The banking system currently does not have liquidity. The Federal Reserve is pumping $50 billion of new cash into the economy, into the system to support the banks every day. $50 billion a day. Think of the ramifications of that. What if they were no longer able to do that or decided not to do that? Would we have a liquidity freeze, a credit freeze? How would that affect the economy? Folks, this world is in serious trouble for one reason or another. And it's time that we wake up and realize the necessity for us as individuals, especially if you're responsible for a family, to create your own sustainability. You've got to have economic independence. You've got to have time independence. You absolutely must have location independence, that you're not locked down and tied to an employer who is stuck in a given location and you've got no other options. First of all, the way the economy is going, that employer may not be there for very long. You understand that? Secondly, with the natural disasters and impending economic disasters, you have no idea what to expect other than there's a higher probability that whatever's coming is not going to be good than any other option. Now, I don't like to dwell as, you know, on the negative, but we have to be real. We have to open our eyes and see what's going on around us. We have to understand the world that we live in and simply be prepared to deal with it. If not, well, then you take whatever you get and you assume full responsibility for it, okay? Now for those doubters, those naysayers that think they know something about Strategy 2020 that doesn't suit their agenda, my only question to come back is, well, so what are you doing then to create your own economic independence? Are you able to live and support your family comfortably without a job? If not, you better take a second look. If so, well then more power to you. Maybe you've already got a well-structured financial portfolio that you can live off of. But I sure hope and pray it's not based on the stock market or the bond market because those are going down with everything else when the trigger is pulled. So these are things to think about, things to be aware of, things to have in the back of your mind as you move forward in the Strategy 2020 program. And you know, I see it, I see it very often. Frequently enough that it, it really makes me sad when I see people get frustrated and quit. Not just this program, but in life. You know, oh, those things don't work. I tried something like that one time and it didn't work for me. So, you know, I'm gonna quit before I even start. I'm not even gonna try anything new. I'm not gonna look at anything new because I had a bad experience with some other group some other time. Now, how freaking narrow-minded can that be? 
And you know what? That's the only way to fail in this program. There's only one way to fail. And that's to quit. That's to let the naysayers and the doubters get under your skin and convince you of their doubts. I guarantee you in any conversation something or someone is being sold and a sale will occur. Either you will be successful in showing the value of what you're doing and what you have to offer to help them or they will sell you on the idea that what you have does not have much value. Someone is going to buy an idea. And the only question is, who is going to buy which idea? So bear that in mind. This world is full of crazy people. This world is full of people that are honestly demonic, filled with demons. And you're not going to get people just to roll over and lay down for you in most cases. So you've got to be proficient, well-spoken, communicative, to the point, in expressing what it is that you can do to help these people. And you know the beautiful thing is you don't really have to say a word. Some people aren't comfortable talking to others. We've got the videos that do all that for you. We've got webinars, we've got a long video, we've got a short video, we've got this video, and, and others in the pipeline. So, you've got the tools, you've got the opportunity, you've got a lifetime of experience behind you, you've got everything you need. So the only question is, are you really serious and committed which is the key word here, are you committed to do whatever it takes to succeed, to achieve the results that we're after? We're not after a, we're not going after a huge network and community support network. That's only a tool. That's a tool that we're using to launch us into financial independence, to build a savings and investment portfolio in alternative assets that are not going to crash when the entire global markets crash. Okay? So this whole thing is geared to allow us to not only survive but also to thrive in the days ahead which we feel are quite chaotic at the very minimum. Alright? So with that I hope I have opened your eyes to some new perspectives to help you build a strong baseline of belief and commitment related to the importance and the significance of what we're doing in Strategy 2020. So with that, I'm going to turn around, go back to the pool, take a swim. And I hope to see you in the winner's circle. We'll talk soon. All right, take care. God bless.